Today I'm going to show you how to install a carbon fiber lower balance on your C7 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Instead of me being in the camera, I'm going to be the photographer taking the video of my guys putting this new diffuser on the bottom of this car, this beautiful carbon fiber diffuser from Extreme Online Store. So I have a group of people that have watched my channel for a long time and they wanted to be able to do the work and show it off and be able to show that they have learned how how to do it just by my videos okay so today we've gone over this I've showed them how to do it they've actually done a few of these already helping me in the shop but they wanted to be able to show it off and be able to say hey look Scott's videos actually do work we know what we're doing so I'm going to be filming it I'm gonna be narrating it and they're gonna be doing the work okay so uh, I want you to sit back and relax this is Al and Larry Okay, so uh, you'll be seeing me address them in the video, and they're going to be able to get you taken care of. Okay, so sit back and relax, and we'll show you how it's done. All right, guys, so Al and Larry here, they're going to go ahead and they're going to be pulling this trim piece right here. They're going to be pulling this trim piece off the car, which will reveal some 15 torques. Okay, so um, this bumper has been off before, so this clip is coming off a little bit easier than normal. If you have a car that it's never been taken apart, that will not come off that easy. I guarantee you it will fight you, but uh, it is it does they do come off, okay? That reveals some 15 torques that are right here. So Al's going to go ahead and he's going to take those off. And you can just leave those right there in the track, just in the trough there, and leave them there. That way you won't lose them. And in case you guys are interested in this box right here, this is something that we, we custom make here in our shop. Uh, this is one of the versions for the uh, C7 convertible. We make them for the C7 uh, coupe as well. A little bit different design configuration. And um, we also make them for the C8. And uh, I'll, I'll put some video, some pictures of those inside the, the video here so you can see them. If you're interested in one of those, be sure and reach out to me. I'll put my information up on the screen, okay? And we, can, we do these custom, so we can do a lot of different things with them, okay? All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna close the trunk lid uh, just close it down guys there you go and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to lift the car up on get it up in the air so we can get all the other goodies off of it okay all the other screws and stuff off the bottom so we got the car up in the air now and so al is going to go ahead this way we can get the bottom of the bumper release he's going to take these three screws right here and if you have a grand sport this will, i believe is four screws okay he's going to go ahead and take those out and then there's two more screws right here. There we go. And then we'll have the we'll have two more on the, or the other five on the other side. But we're gonna move over here. And we're gonna do these ten millimeters right here. There's two of them. Let's see if my camera will pick it up. But they're right up inside. They're one right there and one right there. Is my, gun, is my gun dead? Yeah, my gun might be dead. All right, so now 
Now Larry's gonna go ahead and pry those loose. You wanna use a little pry tool, guys, especially if you are using the aftermarket um, rock guards because they are, they're glued together and if you just pry them out, they, they can give you a bad time. Now what that does is that reveals two 15 torques that are right here. And Al's gonna go ahead and take those. Um, if you're using like an angle tool right here like this, um, then you can get them out pretty easy without having to take the wheels off. If you don't have any, uh, any other tools available, then um, you may have to take the wheel off. But, um, but yeah, this, this way, it just having this little angle tool, and you can get these, you can get them online, you can get them from um, Home Depot, and they're, they're only like 20 bucks. It's not a big deal. All right. All right, guys, we've got everything loose on the bottom of the car. Now we're gonna go ahead and lower it back down. And then what we'll be doing is we'll be getting the trim rings off and we'll uh, show you how we do that real quick too, okay? And then we're getting real close to being able to pull the bumper off. So Al's gonna go ahead and put the tape there on the, um, on the bottom of the tail light. You can see right there what he's doing. He's protecting the paint so he, because we've gotta use a pry tool. Larry's gonna use the pry tool on this to be able to pry this trim ring off, okay? And most likely with the, the pry tools, the nylon pry tools, it probably wouldn't hurt the paint, but we're just being really, really careful, okay? So just gonna put that in there. Yep, you got it, Larry. And then just kind of walk that down. There you go. And you can see that Al's just getting the other one ready to go. Yep. There you go. And you can see, guys, some of them will just come right out, and the other ones will kind of fight you a little bit, but that's, that's just kind of the nature of the beast. Now, these, are, these tail lights are made by Paragon. Their lights go in very similar. Their trim rings go in very similar to the factory ones. Um, but, uh, again, this is a tail light that we install. We also we, we sell them. So if you're interested in a set of these, please reach out to us, and I'll get you a, get you a set coming. All right, so now he's gonna put that trim ring over there off to the side, and then he's gonna go ahead and pry this one loose. Now guys, you just, you don't have to be, I mean, be mindful that you, you, you know, you just gotta be careful, um, but just use, like I always say, use a little finesse. If it doesn't, like you see, it's not wanting to come loose there on the corner, there it goes, but he moved over and popped the other clip and then went back. That's and that's what you kind of have to do. Don't force these things because you will end up breaking it, breaking it or screwing up your paint, and you just don't want to do that. There we go. It's coming. Yep, there you go. All right. And then if you guys have a factory one, you're not going to have this connector. This is because of the. Um, um, it's because it's a the tail light there. There you go. So, all right, so now what this, we've got this all set pretty much, except we've still got one more screw on each side that are hiding right up in here. And I don't know if I can, I don't know if the camera will get this or not, but there's a, there's one right up here in the, up in the top corner. I wish my, my camera would show that, but it, it isn't. Um, but it's a, it's a, typically it's a Torx. If it has never been taken apart, and this is a, a virgin car. It's gonna have a it's gonna have a Torx up in there, uh, and there you go. You can see that. I think yeah, you see that right now. You can see that one that 15 Torx hiding right there. So you need to take that out on both sides, and then at that point we'll be able to take the bumper off. All right, guys. So Larry's trying to make sure that Al can see that up there. It is in a dark hole. Um, and so if you've got a flash, uh, you've got a little flashlight or a headset or something like that, some lights, it makes it a little bit easier to see it. Um, but one thing, one word of advice, guys, is 
When you take these out, if it drops, it's not a big deal. You just taking it out, it drops to the bottom, you'll get it out. Um, a lot of times when you, if you drop this one, we go to reverse engineer this and put it back together and you drop it, it will be a nightmare to fish it out of the bumper. So you, you wanna try to be very careful. If you've got small hands, uh, you can kind of get up in there and, um, and my hands just barely fit, but you can see there that Al's having to do it the hard way. So, but it is a 15 Torx that's up there in the, yeah, his hand fits just barely, huh? There you go. All right. So guys, now we've got all of it off. We've got our, we've got everything completely, just, let's review just a little bit. We've got everything up on the top. We took our trim ring off. We took all of our screws out of the top here. We're gonna open this back up. Just gonna see, you can see all the screws, they're all gone, okay? And then we've also got, we've got our, our 15 Torx out of here. We've got all our screws out of the bottom. We've got our 10 millimeters out of the middle, okay? And we've got our 15 Torx out of each side, okay? So the bumper is ready to be removed. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and we're gonna put, just to kind of help this, we're gonna put this little box over here that we have. Um, if you have something that's, you know, uh, maybe a piece of wood or something like that, put it underneath the bumper, okay? And just like that. And then we're gonna take this blanket and we're gonna cover that box with the blanket. And this is the most important thing, guys. The reason that we're doing the box is so that the, bo the bumper doesn't drop all the way down, okay? Because you've got wires in there that are gonna be hard to get disconnected to be able to move, remove the bumper entirely. And if, you, and if you can let it sit on the box, you're not gonna be fighting everything. You'll just be able to pull it loose, okay? And, and it'll just make your life so much easier. And then the blanket is simply just to make sure you don't scratch your bumper, okay? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and what my customers always say when they are sitting here watching me do this type of work, this is the part that they hate the most when they've watched it because it makes a really nasty noise when you take this bumper off. There's three clips that are right here, right here, and right here, and we're actually going to grab it. I'm gonna show you, they're gonna be grabbing these right here and they're gonna be pulling out. And when it comes out, it makes a nasty noise. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, go ahead. Straight out. Straight out. There we go. Al, your turn. There you go. Okay, he's the he-man to the day, I can see. Okay, guys. So now, what they've got is they're going to be sitting this right now. It's literally sitting on that box. No, no, okay. I don't think it is. No, it should. Yep. Yeah, I think your diffusers are sitting on the box. Yep. There you go. Okay. So what you've got, guys, is you've got some connectors here. You've got a connector right over here in this corner. You can see right here, we've got to take that one loose. We've got our main connector here. Okay, and then we've got another, this, this right here, this cable that I'm holding onto, this cable goes over to your emergency release unit over here. So we're going to be taking all of that as well as this connector loose. And that way we'll be able to get the bumper off the car, okay? So that's what we're gonna do next. So we've got the bumper off. Now Larry's gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get my, cam my, my camera in here. He's gonna be pulling the, the, um, the clip here on the very bottom of this piece right here. And he's just gonna, you're just gonna pry that down, Larry. Okay. All right, so that gets that free. Okay, and then he's got to disconnect it. And there should be a little little uh, plastic gray tab. And then once you pull it out, then you press the tab down and it comes apart. Okay, so now Al is going to be taking the center or the main console unit, or not console, but the main control cable, all right, the main harness. You can see there's a red tab right there. Let's see if I can get out of the way there. There you go. And then you've got a press in the center, the black in between the two pieces of the, of the red tab. So you can see right here that this has pulled out and now you're gonna be pushing down on this black piece right here. Hopefully my thumb wasn't in the way and you can see it. There we go. 
This is tight, guys. This is a little, little bit hard to do. Okay. There you go. But you're going to press down. There you go. And you're just going to have to give it just a little bit of help. There we go. And that should separate. There we go. Okay. Just like that. Now we've got another connector right here. And the best way to do it is to be able to pull, take your pry tool and pull this loose. You can always push, push it right back on the Christmas tree right back on. It makes it so much easier for you to get to it. Just pry that loose off of there. There we go. Okay, which then reveals uh, another another connector here. You're going to pull this red, uh, red safety lock right there. There you go. And then what you're going to do is you've got to press right here, this gray push right up there at the top. Push down, and then there you go, just like that. And these plugs have been together for a long time, so it may not want to come out. So you just have to go ahead and use your little tool, your little screwdriver again. Hold that down and just kind of pry it out just a little bit. Don't get carried away, but it will it should just come free. There we go. Okay. So now, what the last thing we've got to do here, guys, I'm going to try to get in here to show you. But to be able to take, we've got to be able to take this, this unit off. Okay. This is your emergency lockout uh, key switch right here. Okay. That was what this, this was the, the, the lock to or the cable to the lock but we're gonna have to take this little plastic tab I don't know if you can see that or, or not but we're gonna use a, a, a pry tool a little yellow pry tool to be able to pull this back out also you're gonna have to use uh, probably a little screwdriver or something to get it started I can actually got it with my fingernail but you're gonna be able to do that and you have to pry it out now you're gonna need the other end other end okay yeah Trying to get get that camera down in there so you can see it. So now what we've got here, guys, is now that we've got this pin out, now we're just gonna slide this out and over. Okay, so it's just he's gonna push it over. Now we'll get it out of its slot. There we go. And then there you go, you can just set it down. There you go. So now your bumper is completely free. Okay, so now we're gonna go prep our our uh, stand so we can move the bumper over to the stand. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move it up over here onto the stand. Okay, and now we can go ahead and we can start the process of taking it apart. Now we've got the bumper up here like that. We've got here, it, it shows we've got the clips that we have to take loose to be able to get to these bolts. We've gotta be able to drop these reflectors out so we can get to these bolts here, as well as we're gonna take, once we get that done with both reflectors, we'll flip the bumper back over, we'll take the license plate off, and then it, and that way it will reveal those two, those two, and those two screws. And at that point, we can go ahead and take the bottom valance off. So you can see right here, this is one of the reasons that you can do this um, you can just, it makes it so much easier having it off. Okay, so this should just push down. And it almost looks like that one, there we go. And then the same thing with this one. Now you can do that one. There you go. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip the bumper over. You guys can actually lay it, you can actually lay it right on top, just like this. There we go. There we go. And go ahead and take the license plate off. Okay. So now, guys, what you can see right here is you've got your 10 millimeter screws. You've got one here, here. You've got one right down in there, one right here. One right, uh, right here and right there. Now, one thing I want to point out to you guys is that you want to make sure you'll have to do it from the other side, but you want to make sure that you save these clips. Just carefully remove them out of this bumper 
and you can be able to put them back in the other bumper because these are not supplied with the new bumper. All right, so now we are, we've got all of our bolts out and it's ready. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip it back over and we'll be able to start separating the bumper um, from the lower valance. Okay guys, so what we've got here is we've gotta get all these clips loose, right? All the way along the bumper here. But the trick to these is this tab and the uh, one on the other side. And so what Larry's got here, he's got his screwdriver wedged in there and he's, he's got it, he's gonna move it kind of this direction, get my hand out of the way. And then he's gonna just push on the bottom of the bumper and he's gonna pull that, he's gonna separate it a little bit, right? So, yeah, so then there you go. You're just gonna pull up. Yep, you can cut. see it just came free from there, right? Yep. Then these clips, these you just kind of work, work them out. Okay, now if they come across, if they come apart right on this side, fine. If it comes across on this side, fine. You can always move this, remove this uh, vent off of this piece and put it onto the, the new one. And it's not a big deal. But, um, and then you're gonna just undo all of these clips and you can see how it's dropping down, right? So it's the same thing. So, so let it drop down. You're gonna remove this clip here. And then you can see right here, that you've got we've got this one same thing Al's gonna go into that into that back corner just like that kind of wedge it and then wedge it over and then you can kind of hit the bumper say so like that okay kind of give it a little bit of whack there to help it and you're going you're going downward you're gonna go down okay like like that okay that should have cleared it did okay and then you can go ahead and move the rest of your clips and the bumper will free itself. Yeah, you're almost there, Al. You're almost there. Probably a little bit more right here. There you go, you got it. Okay, we got one more clip right here. There we go. All right, so they've got the bumper here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one just to make it a little bit easier. And now they're setting that up there. Now the one thing that you wanna make sure of, guys, is to make sure you get your white clips out of there. So you've gotta be able to get those out, okay? Now Al's gonna be popping these out with his screw. Yeah, I know, right? He's gonna pull these, these little guys out with his screwdriver. Now you guys wanna be careful. He's kinda of prying them out, and that's, that's what you need to do. Um, but, uh, you can get it from the back side, Al. It'll come loose. You just gotta take your time though because these are brittle and if they are if they get cold, you know, then they will break. If you're in warmer weather, it's a little bit better, but they are, they are kind of a pain. All right, so these guys are very brittle. So you just wanna be very careful. Take your time, right? Push, like get one corner to start. That's all you need, okay? And then you can come into the next one and you're gonna push it, eventually getting it to come out. You don't wanna take, you don't wanna rush this part of it. If you do, you'll be trying to figure out where to get these clips. But just walk it in, see how that clip broke? With three, that'll still work, but you gotta be careful. There we go. Okay, there's one. And we can go ahead and get the other one. Oh, broke another tab right there. As you can see, they're just kind of, they're very brittle. Just take your time and they'll come out. There we go. Okay, so now we don't need, 
anything more on this bumper except for the trim the vents here on the side, guys. So we need to remove those, and then we'll transfer those over to the new bumper. So I drug Karen in to help us now because we need a little more help. Um, but we want to make sure that we get our vents transferred back over. Okay, so we're just going to snap those back into the main part of the bumper. And Larry's going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now you have something to snap everything together on the main bumper. Okay, so now what you're going to do is, um, Karen, go ahead and drop your end down just a little bit. Or we need to lift this little guy up just a hair. Okay, and you want... We want to get this, we've got to get the bumper up inside the, the slots inside here. There we go. Okay. So you're going to be, no. it needs to scoot over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Al, we've got too much over here. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So now make sure, let's start, guys, we're probably fighting each other. Let's go ahead yeah, and start with anything? one here. Yeah, there we go. One. Did those two start? Okay. And then this one here needs to come up. This one we, we need to get in in there. So oh. this bumper needs to go, there we go, like that. Okay, so we need to tilt, we need to tilt the main bumper down. Oh, oh, now, wait, guys. Yeah. Okay, hang on, guys. So what we have here is your fight, what you're fighting is the, the uh, backup camera. The backup camera is a, got a, a little bit of an angle. So you've got to make sure that we tilt that like so, okay, and then this one, like so, and that one, like that. Okay. There we go. No, this one's not yeah, in there. Right there. Okay, so we've got, we missed a clip, so we gotta get that clip in there like that. And then we should have one more clip somewhere right in here, I think, right? Did we get them all? You yep. got them. Okay, all right, so now at this point, guys, we need to go ahead and we need to snap these vents in. I don't think we clipped in. Well, we don't want it clipped in yet. Oh, okay. You gotta get these, you gotta get this vent out of the way. All right, guys, so now that we've got all of our clips all set up right along the way here, right? Now what we're gonna do is we've got our, we've got our main clip that's right here. Now you wanna be very careful with this clip because if you break this, this tab, because it is carbon fiber, you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to repair that, okay? So you're, what you're doing is you're gonna press the bumper, this part of the bumper forward, and then you're gonna push down. I don't wanna squash your hands here. guys it's going it's just tight again it's carbon fiber for you so it's not going to flex there we go it's locked locked in yep it's locked in okay so that was probably going to be your hardest part right there we're going to do that on the opposite side now but i don't um that's that's probably your biggest issue right there there you go there we go yeah. Now after that bottom clip, guys, this should be a cakewalk. Al, how are you doing over on your side? Yep, I'm okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay, looks like it's almost snapped in there. Got pressed just a little bit more there, Larry, but looks like it's almost there. Yep, there they go. I see them moving now. Okay. I think you're in. Yeah, Larry, I think you're in. So now they're going to go ahead and they're going to flip the bumper back over. Okay, look how beautiful that is, isn't it? That is just one. Oh, my God. It really has a great weave on it. Okay, so go ahead and flip it all the way over, guys. No, we're going we're gonna to flip it all the way over. Flip it all the way over and put it back down. There you go. Just like that. 
Okay, and so now we can go ahead and we can put our screws in all along here and we can put our wool white tabs in here for, this, for the license plate. Now guys, we have this one lined up really well, but if you start to tighten these down and you start hearing any cracking at all, right? You've got, then that means that you didn't get this thing seated right. And so you need to be very careful and go back and look at your tabs. Okay. okay. Well, now he's got it. So now we've got your inserts here. So here in the United States, you're going to be using the inside tabs, the inside holes. Okay, there we go. All right. So now we are ready to go ahead and put the bumper back together. Okay, so we've just got the bumper sitting here ready to go. Now this way you can go ahead and you can get in here and you can re- do all of the connections okay so you're just going to put everything back together like what you took off okay so kind of push your bumper just a little bit close there now go ahead and plug it in i've got it i've got the bumper go ahead and plug it in okay all right and then you can go ahead and you can snap that one back in there. Yep. There you go. Just like that. Okay. And now you've got this little guy, which is your, your emergency key slot again. Okay. And that goes in here like this. And it goes right into these slots. Guys, you'll feel it exactly. It, it will go in. It'll slide in. Here now. Let me see. And you'll be able to feel it when it goes in there. Here, I think it's got to go back further. I think the plug was in the way. So... Our thing is backwards, that's why. There we go, just like that. This so one's kind of an angle here. But you wanna make sure, you can see right there, it went right in. Yeah. You can make sure that it's locked in, it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay. And then you can go ahead and you can put your little black clip that we pried out earlier, right back in the slot here. It's kind of tight there, but you'll be able to push it. If you get it in the right spot, it'll go right in, just like that. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug this one back in. Okay, and then lock the safety tab. It only goes in just a little bit. There okay. you go. Okay, and then go ahead and push the Christmas tree up into the hole that goes right here. You feel it up there? Yeah, it's pretty soft. I need a little bit more room. Okay. Let's see here. Are we in the hole? Yeah, right. You're not in the hole. Yeah, right. Right, right there. Okay. Okay. And then the last one, guys. So that one is right here. This one right here. Okay. Okay. Your main harness. Okay. Okay. And then the red tab. And then be sure and secure it back up to the back. And there's a there's a little bit of here. I'll show them, guys. There's a little bit of a clip right there. You see that? 
Okay, that is on, there's a little clip that matches that, that is on the back side of this tab here. Let's see if I can get that. It's almost impossible for you guys to see it, but I'm trying here. Okay, yeah, it's not, it's almost impossible. You'll be able to feel it, but for me to show it to you on camera is almost impossible, guys. There, it's a, it's just a little tab that sits in there, it's, and it's uh, got a slot that it locks into. And because I'm on camera, I think it's just decided it's not going to play nice. We are so close. There we go. Okay, so then now we're all in there. Now, the reason you want to make sure, guys, that all of the, connection, the connections are secure is that if they fall loose... What you can what you can have happen, and I've seen this happen before, that you'll get one of the connectors, it'll fall down in here, and you'll see a bubble. You'll see it, it'll actually wedge its way down in the you know on the bumper. You'll actually see a, a, it protruding through. So you don't want to you want to make sure that you secure all your connections. Now the last thing that we got to do now, and I always do this, is I just go and I turn the lights on, just to make sure. And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead. And uh, we'll turn the lights on, and we'll just test it and make sure everything works. That looks like okay. diamonds. Okay, so there we go. We've got everything working on the back end of the car here, as well as all the new lighting that we put on. Okay, there we go. So we know that all works. So we're going to go ahead, and we'll shut the lights off, and we'll go ahead and put the rest of the bumper back together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, and we're going to put the bumper on. Now, guys, you want to make sure that you ha you keep your clips all this whole lip yeah. here right above it. There you go. And that you get no, your right, clips to line up right. just like that. Yeah. You can see right here. Okay. They all went right together. And the clips are starting to line up there. You'll see it. There shouldn't be any gapping. If it's fighting you, then take a second. Larry, I think this one's kind of fighting you a little bit. There we go. And it looks like this one is still having a little bit of a problem. Now, if this becomes a case, guys, um, Larry, I'm going to have you hold the camera just for a second so I can point this out. So what you want to do is you want to pull this away a little bit and see if one of these clips, this one has not, but sometimes they will turn. And if they go sideways, they're not going to hook up. So you can look in here and you can like wiggle it and then you'll be able to get it right where it goes. Okay. All right. All right, so now we've got that all put back together. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and start putting the screws up on the top back together, okay? So those 15 torques, we can go ahead and put those back together in there, and then we can move, move our way down. So guys, I got to point out something here while they're doing this is that um, even though all this started from Karen over here, right, doing all of the work on the car, uh, she is like tried to avoid this video as hard as she possibly could. I made her get into into it a couple of times, but uh, yeah, she's a little camera shy, so I'm kind of embarrassing her right now. <laughs> but. <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to point that out that um, I've, we've made the guys do the majority of the work there. Um, she's been kind of supervising behind the scenes. But she's already done this a bunch of times. So, you know, this is, uh, well, actually, they've, these guys have done it a couple of times too. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got that. Okay, so we've got our trim piece that we've got to put back in here. Okay. Where did you hide that at, guys? Oh, there it is. Okay. You can go start from that side. Scott, there is a difference between the way I did it and the way they are doing it now. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah. And, and it's huge. It's huge. Yeah. And, and what is it? Tell me what that is. It is that I watched all of your videos. Every single one. These two, 
Yeah. They're clowns. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and I was, I was just hanging on to every word that you spoke, and that's how I completed my car. Uh, well, and and that cars. that's that's a great compliment. But there's one thing, guys, that we need to point out that nobody's touched on, and the fact is, these guys are doing this car on a lift. She did hers on the floor, guys. On the ground. Yeah, on the ground. Okay, so yeah, she's she's definitely a and pro I can now. Say this, and don't be a hater. But I went down a full cup size. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Al's gonna go ahead and tighten those screws up in the holes there. Uh, he was a little gun shy about that, so off camera I started those screws. So he's gonna go ahead and just screw, tight, tighten them up there. There we go. Okay, so guys, they're just gonna go ahead and they're gonna put the uh, they're plugging those connectors back in for the tail lights. If you guys have a a factory set of taillights, you won't have that wire. If you do, you'll be tucking that in. If you have the Paragons or the Miramotos, you'll be plugging a cable in. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna go ahead and push those in on the corners, okay? And just make sure that all of the tabs go into the slots. Just walk all the way around, just like Al's doing right there. There we go. And that looks good. And then Larry's getting ready to do the same thing. Okay. There we go. And you just walk it around. Go all the way around. Make sure that all the all the tabs are going into their holes. There you go. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and lift the car entirely up and we'll put all the bottom screws in as well as the side screws over on this side, okay? And the other side. How tight should it be? Just snug. You're, that's far enough. Okay. okay, so now Larry's going to go ahead and put the rock guards back on. And once he gets those all set, then we'll be able to uh, be able to go underneath the car and put the rest of the screws together. So he's just making sure that all the clips are lined up. And then you can just snap them in place, just like that, okay? And we'll move over to the other side. All right, so now he's gonna, so what you're wanting to do here is you can see right here, guys, Larry's putting that little tab up inside right there. That's what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that that tab gets up inside there. That way it gets pinched into the bumper. Okay, and then you go ahead. There we go. There we go. There you go. Okay, so Al's gonna go ahead and tighten up these 10 millimeter bolts that go right here on the, in the exhaust. Now his exhaust, this AWE system here, these pipes are extremely large. It's a lot harder to see in there. Um, if you're using with stock, uh, stock exhaust pipes, you'll be able to see in there much easier, but you can see right in there, see right there, there's that one, and there's one right there. So that's, those are the two that you're tightening up. And so now that we've got the, we've got our rock guards on, we've got our center done, everything's done up on top. We're just gonna go underneath here and we're gonna put all of our screws back across the bottom. And once we do that, we'll be done. We're under the car now and Al is about to go ahead and put these screws in and you've just gotta get everything lined up. You may have to move this over just a little bit. You can see right there, you had started one, um, but you're gonna wiggle these screws into place and get everything to line up. And you're not gonna tighten up any of these screws until you, you get every one of them in.
got our one here, our one here. Got our three over here. And guess what? We're done. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and informative. And when it comes time that you want to do a carbon fiber lower balance on your Corvette, you'll know exactly how to do it and where to get it. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of that information right up here on the screen. You're gonna to go to extremeonlinestore.com or you can reach out to me. You can either call or text me or email me and we will be happy to get you taken care of. We also have an online store now, which is corvettechannel.net. So if you guys wanna take a look at that, be sure and take a look. Otherwise, you can still do like what you've always done and be able to call or text me and we'll be able to get you handled, okay? So guys, I wanna thank you guys all for watching today. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of all of our next uploads and we'll catch you on the next one.